Okay. Okay, we just set up a GitHub account for my son, Nate. He just uploaded an avatar. Say hi, Nate. Hello. All right, so uh, I'm at my apartment and Nate is at home and so is Jeremy. I'll look at Jeremy's screen. Jeremy just installed his uh, developer tools. So we need to do the same thing, Nate. We're gonna learn how to use the terminal. Okay. <clears throat> Do you remember how to open up your terminal? Yep. Okay. Yep. Do it. Okay. That's our Unity project. Okay. That should be right. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I just got the code. And this is the Star Wars movie. It's the entire movie with just symbols. Cool. Long time ago, it's gas. We are far away. So poor. I just downloaded the player dad and. It's I don't I don't see it. Where did it download it to? Oh, go to your um terminal. Terminal? Type LS. Okay, the movie is starting. Oh, you need to uh to clone it again. Cause the last uh, time we tried to clone it it, it didn't work. Oh, that's cool. So, There's RTD2 and C3PO. Bit. Um, what is it? Clone. Type your up arrow. A couple of times. Is that right? Hold on. Me? Alright. Yep. Enter? Yep. I don't think anyone's watched this whole movie except for the creator because there's it's like really long. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way to fast forward it, is there? No. Nope. Maybe no. Okay, so that's the it's still loading. Yeah. Is it still loading? I think it looks like it's done. What do I do now? Type ls. Yep. But where is it? Type uh, open oh. space dot. Open. What? Space dot. <laughs> No, before it, okay. Oh. So guess what it just did? You open the, that's how you open the folder? You open the current directory, dot means this directory. Oh, so that's a Unity project? Uh, it is a Unity project. Oh, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, you do. So, where is it? Remember in the terminal where we were? Project? Yep. This was created in a different version of Unity, so it has to do a little conversion there. Who made this? Uh, I think it was made by Adina. 
Okay. It looks like it what might not doing? be finished yet. Click on scripts. See if the scripts are in there. What? Scripts? Yeah. Oh, good. They're there. Okay. Oh, this is the code, right? That looks complicated. It's a little bit complicated, but it's not that complicated. They're two short scripts. What do you What do you think they do? This one, I have no clue. Make it so you can control a player and mm -hmm. rotate items. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. What I want to do is is uh, this looks like it's not ready to run yet. Yeah. But it does have the scripts in there, which is good, because we're going to want to use those scripts. So we're going to copy those scripts and put them into our project folder. Um, how do you settings? How do you copy? Go out to your finder. Oh, here. Let them all... Assets. What are we doing? Oh, look, it opens it up in sublime text. Yeah. Dad, what are we doing? You and I are doing something a little bit different than what Jeremy is doing right now. Doing? We need to catch up with him. Okay. Okay, can you be patient and, and wait a little bit while I do this with, uh, with Nate, Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll do something else. Okay. And if you don't mind... Please be quiet because we're recording. Okay. Okay. All right, Nate. Mm -hmm. Want to go to your uh, terminal? Okay. Danny, do you need it? Okay. So when you first open up a terminal, you're opened up in your home directory. Mm -hmm. Right? And if you type these two letters, LS, <coughs> LS stands for list. Mm -hmm. I know. Right? So that's, we've, we've done this before, right? Yeah. So that's a list of all the things in your home directory. Okay? And what we want to do is we want to change the directory and go into our projects folder. Right? Okay. So type CD space capital P, R, and hit the tab button. And it automatically fills out the word projects. Okay. Okay? Hit return. Yep, now type LS. Air project. Yeah, go to your finder. Open up your finder. Okay. Okay, go, go up, up one directory. There you go. So that's what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. You're looking at this finder window, except in the terminal. Okay. Okay, so I need all of that. Um, okay, go back to your terminal. I'll go start with that. And type CD space capital H. Tab? Yep, and hit tab. Okay, now type LS again. There.html. There's your HTML file. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you want to go back to where you just were, you type cd space dot dot. Now type ls. And can you keep them cd dot dot? Yeah, cd space dot, what dot dot means is the directory, <coughs> the directory above. Right, so you can go up and up and up. So, can you access the files from Terminal? Yes, you can. Do stuff in it and new stuff? 
Do you uh, CD space capital H tab? <laughs> Type, um, what's your favorite animal? Probably dog, but maybe cat. Oh, type cat. Okay. Space. Oh. Oops. Okay, hit uh, control Z. Yeah, I know. Okay, now hit cat space. And start typing the name of your HTML file. And then hit tab. Not working. Type B for bear.html. But HTML and tab isn't working. Okay, back all the way up. Hit LS. So there's the okay. file that's in this directory. If you want a cat, I forget what cat means, but basically it's going to print out the contents of that file to the screen. Type. I can just type the letter B. Cat B? Yep. Hit tab. Okay. And then hit return. Oh. It, it prints out the whole script. That's right. So it has octet.html. So from here, yep. all the way down here is the ground there. That's right. Now you can do something else. You can type open space B tab. Try that. See what that does. Oh, it opens it. Yeah. So up here. Oops. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, go to the finder. Finder? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Go into your HTML folder. Now click on bear.html and do command I. Command I. Command I is get information. Oh, information. Yep. So it's kind, size, where, created, and mod. Yeah. Those are all the things that you can see in the finder, the same thing. See that triangle down below that says open with? Uh, yeah. Yeah, open that up. And right now this file is set to always open in Google Chrome. You can change that. The Safari Sublime Text. How about okay. Sublime Text? Okay. Enter, go into the terminal again. Wait, hold on, it didn't, didn't stick. Yeah. Okay. Close that up. Go back to your terminal. Yeah. Hit your up arrow key. Do the same thing. Oh. So now it's in sublime text. <coughs> where Jeremy left off? We're pretty close. Okay. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. We didn't do this. But this is this is good. Now you know something he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can close that up. Okay. Now um, do this. Uh, it's a command called PWD, Print Working Directory. PWD. Yep. Okay. And that prints to the screen the path to the folder that you're currently looking at. Users may foreign projects. HTML5. Right. So yeah. say you want to go up one directory now. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah. Um, cd space dot path. Yep. Now do pwd again. And now we're in project instead of HTML. Right. So what we want to do is we want to go to GitHub now okay. and clone the project. Okay. Wait one second. Out of what? You're out of Almost. What? 
Okay, go back to Safari, because I think we were working in Safari. You've got Chrome oh. open now. <clears throat> okay. Okay, type GitHub. Okay, so down there in your popular repositories, you've got the one that we're doing the tutorial for, Collect Them All. Mm -hmm. Now see the big green button on the right-hand side? Clone or download. Clone or download. Mm -hmm. Click that. And don't download anything yet. Click on the text, github.com slash A-S-A-H, and co mm -hmm. copy that. So you paste it somewhere? Go back to your terminal now. Okay. Type git, Type git space, space clone. clone. Wait, what? Git space clone. Okay, you need to put a space after clone. <clears throat> oh, space after clone. Space after clone. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Now return. The git command requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install the tools now? Yes, this is the first time we're using Git, so it needs to install some special tools. Hit agree. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Okay. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, why don't you go back to Safari? Great. Okay. Click anywhere on the screen to get rid of that clone dialog box. Now, does this look familiar? Yeah, sorry. Of. This is <laughs> Adina's project. It's a Unity project. Mm -hmm. It's got an assets folder. Yeah. Click on assets and see what's inside it. Okay. Do you see the assets folder? Oh, the folder. <coughs> click on the init folder. Click the assets yeah. folder. Okay. And look at how she's got it organized. This should look very familiar to you. Materials. Prefab. Prefabs. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, this reminds me that we forgot to make a prefab, but we'll do that next. Okay. Click on scripts. Or as Adina would say, do the thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Guess what guess what these are? Um there's the rotation of the items. Yep. Don't click on the meta file, click on the, the script file. Click on either one of the script files. Oh, what does that look like? It looks, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a, this is a behavior. We're going to drag this script onto the, uh, the ghost that we created. Oh, okay. Okay, and what do you think it's going to do? Um, <clears throat> when it first starts up, when you start the app, what do you think it's going to do? 
I don't know. Maybe it's going to do, how about nothing? It might do nothing. Yep. I think it will do something. It might do something. When the screen updates, what do you think it's going to do? I think it's going to rotate the plane. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. So, can I make the file? The folder? Yep. Make sure you get the capitals the same. Hey, what, what am I reading? Prefabs. Do I put, oh, do I put the code in prefabs? Nope. You need another folder. Call? Scripts. Go back out to your finder. Okay. And go find your project folder. The one that we created. Uh, there's that. Now create a new window. Actually, create a new tab. In here? In your finder. Command, okay. Command T. What? Command T is new tab. Okay. Now go go to your uh, home directory. Okay. Remember your home directory? Alright. Yep, and go navigate up one directory. There you go. Is the video over yet? Uh, the video? Or the installing of the new software? What? Why don't you, for now, uh, let's finish this up. Double click on the assets folder so that you're looking at just the assets. Okay. Okay, and open up your scripts folder. Good. Okay, click on the other tab, look at your projects folder. Okay, why don't you view that instead of as icons, viewed as a list. And let's go back to your terminal. That should be just about done installing software. Okay. Excellent. <coughs> Hit your uh, up arrow button to go to the last thing that we just tried to do. Last time we did this, what happened? Um, not much. It's not anything outside. I know, it said Xcode select no, no developer tools were found at application Xcode app requesting install. Choose an option in the dialog to download the command line to the Okay, so a dialog window popped up and it said, do you want to install the tools? And we said, yeah, we do want to install the tools. So we click the mm -hmm. install button, all of that happened, and now we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Okay. And now we've got the tools installed, we should get a different behavior. That was fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now what do you think just happened? It's counting, it says it's counting the object. Yep. And there's 49. Yep. And it compresses the object. And Why don't you type ls? Okay. Ooh, look, there's a new folder in there. Click them all. Okay. Yep, you see it? 
in your terminal, change directory into the collect them all folder. Collect them all? Okay. Nope. You just went up a directory. What? You just went up a directory. Print, uh, do PWD. Right? Okay. And type LS. Okay, let's move into the projects folder. What? Let's change directory into the projects folder. Okay. CD space capital PR. Tab. Okay. Type LS. Oh, okay, go ahead. Do the CD if you want. Okay. CD. Um. The project is called Collect Them All with a capital C. Okay. Hit your tab at any time. Hit your tab button at any time. C O L L. Back up a little bit. C O L L. Tab. Yeah, the T I think is capitalized. There you go. And get rid of that extra junk at the end. Oh. Type up arrow, delete. There you go. Assets, local project settings. Right, change directory into your assets folder. Tab key anytime. Okay. What's in that folder? Materials. Oh, so it has all the folders in yep. Um, Unity. Yep. Go into your go, go into your scripts folder. What? Go into your scripts folder. Okay. What's in there? An item rotator <clears throat> and a player controller. Yes. Now, do you remember the two? functions that you can use to look at these files. The first one is the name of an animal. Cat. Yep. Okay. So maybe cat. What do I say after cat? Start with a capital I. And use your, you use your tab, tab key at any time. Go ahead. Does that look familiar? Yeah. Now type open space capital I tab. Okay. Ed? Yep. Can you teach me the cat and stuff? Yep. Later. We're almost done here. Okay. So ah, check it out. Oh, so so this is the installation. Okay. Now you've got your script open, ready to edit. Mm-hmm. Okay, close that up. And we want to go to the finder now. We can do this in, in a variety of different ways. There's more than one way to skin a cat. But for now, we're going to do it the way that we know. Go into the collect them all folder, go into the assets and the scripts, find those two scripts. Um, okay. Copy okay. all of those files. Okay. Move to your 
uh, other tab to your the scripts folder for our project and paste them in there. Mm. All right. <coughs> now go look at your Unity project. Okay. Should we reload it? Nope. It reloads automatically. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now go into your scripts folder. And you can drag the item rotator onto the uh, ghost character. Drag it onto the ghost. Mm -hmm. Nope. You dragged it onto the Pac Man. Oh, right. Go. Okay. And then drag player controller onto the Pac-Man. Okay, now click on the ghost. Let's see if we can see the scripts that are attached to it. I don't, we'll have to figure this out in a minute. All right, so we're pretty much done with this lesson for now. Okay. All right. Are you going to keep me now? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome.